Uh, it's telling me that I'm online. Is is it true? Am I really here? Let me catch up on the chat. Oh man, there's like a million people in chat, and that's amazing. I'm not even. I wasn't <laughs> just sitting reading messages on my phone, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh man, there's a whole bunch of people in the chat. <laughs> um. Oh man, well the new printer is right there. As you can see, it's a different size and or shape than these other Prusas that are over here. So that's a bear next to this thing. So that's the printer we don't speak of just yet. Hence why it's blurry in the background. <laughs> um, I, I am alive. Um, what's funny is, so I was sick for like a week. I had, I don't know, the flu. And then after I had the flu, it was Murph. And I was fine at Murph. I get back, I'm fine but I was exhausted. And then Tuesday night, I'm sitting at the studio editing by myself and I'm like starving. So I ordered DoorDash and I ordered uh, Wingstop delivered because they had free delivery and I was feeling wings and they got these things that are corn on the cob bites that are covered in like Parmesan cheese and Cajun seasoning and butter. Amazing. It's like better than French fries. Um, and the next day, Montezuma's Plague, and I am still recovering uh, today. So, uh, yeah, the Plague of Montezuma is killing me on the inside, but I have, I am fine. <laughs> I can, I just need to be near a restroom. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, hey, we got everybody. We got Michael, Shay, Phil, Marky Mark, Craig. Gusner's in the house. Um, <laughs> um, actually, no, I did see Tom, but Tom was so busy that I ended up talking with um, Stefan from CNC Kitchen um, and some random guy that used to be an animator. So, yeah, the announcement sends out 12 hours, I guess, before the stream. So it sent an announcement saying there's a stream today at 6 30 so this is actually a pre because i have another one in two and a half hours and it's all going to be murph so this is not murph talk so we're gonna we're gonna skip murph it's mailbag day and catch-up day um so let's let's go chris was sick some cool event happened that he was at for a day and then he photographed wheelchair the usqra so the united states um quad rugby associations wheelchair rugby championship um <laughs> so this is like the wrestlemania yeah this is like this is like smackdown before raw i don't know which one's better i haven't watched wrestling since i was a teenager um <laughs> papa murph um so i got these cool stickers that i'm gonna try to get to printed solid so these are some uncle tattooed Uncle Sam stickers for Oscar Mike for um, getting some more money to Oscar Mike because I started a Patreon. So my first month Patreon, I still, still haven't paid out. Uh, it takes 10 days or something the first time because it was set to not auto pay. And then it was like, oh, man, I want to send this donation to Oscar Mike for my first month, which is like six hundred and twenty six hundred and thirty dollars. I actually have a spreadsheet. I'll post all the incoming and outgoing for my Patreon. Um, but <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a little bit till I get that payout to give Oscar Mike, but I stole some stickers. So I'll get that to stuff. Um, oh man, it's Wexter and Fotis and Chris Tilly. Oh, geez, Louise and David Eastman. How Eastman? Eastman? Yeah, we got everybody in here. Actually, David Eastman added me as a friend on Facebook and so did Fotis. So, um, <laughs> if you had no, I don't have that issue, but I also have a better fan. Um, <laughs> oh man, hey, it's that Eric uh, clandest clandest. Uh, let's uh, let's report that unwanted commercial. Oh no, we'll do that one report, and boom, and then we'll go ahead and. Uh, Go ahead and uh, hide this user. There we go. Perfect. He's deleted. 
That was easy enough. And then what else can I do? What else can we do? Can we can we throw him in jail? Uh, remove. Yeah, wait, we we we'll hit all the buttons. Um, there we go. I think I've done everything I can do to remove that guy. Um, <laughs> uh, when you when uh, when people get jaded, they get really jaded on the internet, and that dude is is insanity. Uh, so we are talking about, um, Hey, Chris freeze. I need to print your egg, but all of my printers, all of my printers are on except for the one from Murph. But we're not talking about Murph. Murph didn't happen until later chat today. We're in reverse order today, but as you see, everything else is running. Like everything is running. So, uh, Patreon, uh, awesome thank you everyone on patreon that's kind of amazing so we're gonna have 630 dollars donated to oscar mike so once that comes in i'll do that uh i started selling um what is it i started selling carbon fiber mark 3s and bear mark 3 kits so i'm getting money from 3d printing which allowed me to buy another printer so Thank you. <laughs> we'll see how that works out, though. Um, yeah, Phil, yeah, that was actually part of the announcement in 3.7.0 is that it removed the clicking. Uh, yeah, Wexter, do a DMCA takedown because that is your model. I did that, too, and I even emailed uh, Thingiverse, and they're like, oh, click this button. I'm like, I did, but you never responded. So just printed parts. So, Christo, I'm just doing uh, Atomic CFP TG full kit. So, uh, here's one for. I'm even organized. I have everything in. There's tubs. This is a full Bear Mark III in CFP TG um, with the fancy Bear logoed. There we go. The fancy Bear logoed Prusa thing. And the Zerobo Einsi case, which has all that awesome room for wires and cables and organization. So, yeah, I sold the first 10. Um, and uh, once I get that caught up, uh, I've added printers. I've realized it actually takes a little bit more effort. But I've got three kits finished so far. I just have like a couple extra parts to um, to finish. This one's ready. For RCCNC, that one's ready. And there's another one. There's a box right there. There's a box. And this printer is printing the last pieces for that. So keeping up. I ran out of filament. That slowed me down. So let's go to the first mailbox. Uh, check this out. It's one of the only boxes I had to open because it was three rolls of Atomic CFPTG. And two of them came right out as soon as it came in the mail. Um, and once it came uh, and installed, I started printing again. Well, they always give you a fun sticker. So here's an atomic sticker, which I might have way too many of. Uh, you get a box, which that's going on the ground. But this is actually cool. I forgot about this. So they actually put a... Um, a sensor in here so it's a little humidity sensor from uline that you can get and if that center one turns pink you're in danger of having moisture as you can see the lowest one is a little pink uh but i opened up my two and where is it where did i put it <laughs> i opened it up and not even like i just opened it up like an hour ago and these are already almost all pink so that's how quickly the moisture uh, invade. So these are actually well sealed for the CFPTG. Thank you, Atomic. Um, South African filaments. Oh, yeah. You guys, but South Africa has um, those Vescanite bearings, which uh, secret, um, my Bear Mark III back here has been running the Vescanite bearings for like a, two weeks since Murph. Uh, and they're actually fabulous. It's the they're kind of awesome. Yes, the dark cherry iridescent is awesome, but he's he's telling me he told me at Murph, by Murph, hasn't happened yet. Um, that 
he's discontinuing the dark cherry iridescent PLA, which makes me um, very sad. Oh, look, it's that Justin guy. <laughs> let's see. Let's go ahead and report. And boom. Look at that. We're just having fun reporting people. I'll get him kicked off of face off of. Uh, yeah. And report and boom and report and OK. And hide user. Well, no, he's got friends. <laughs> he's, he's got friends. Yeah, that's going to be similar to I guess. Um, let me grab some. Ha, they're in this box. Except for they're machined out of some fancy material. So they make two. They make a pink and a white. Pink are... Whoop, let me move my face out of the way. Yep. They are machined and they are meant for Prusas. Someone actually... Um, yeah. These are running on stock rods. The guy who made them, he works for Vescanite and he owned a Prusa Mark IIs and was like, uh, yeah, I'm going to make these awesome bearings for my company that makes these awesome bearings. So they're made specifically for Prusas on their stock rods and they fit. Yeah. And they don't, they don't bind. Um, <laughs> we'll add Chris as a moderator so he can, there you go. Chris, you got mod status. If you need to ban anyone, go ahead. Feel free. <laughs> yes. And a moment of silence for buddy. I'm actually printing. Another thing that I got in the mail, this is uh, Jesse. So it's a dog, uh, Dave's dog from Printed Solid. So I'm going to print, print another. Um, I will print another uh, buddy in remembrance of uh, Joseph Prusa's dog, Buddy, who was a Frenchie, Frenchie bulldog, passed away today. Uh, no, I actually just swapped them on. I have them on this Mark III using the U-bolts. Uh, fit just fine and I have them on the bear using the bear clip in for bearings no changes and it works yeah they don't bind like the I guess and um, I will get part numbers and stuff I'll, I'm gonna write a uh, I've already written a partial blog but I ordered 14 more of these just to make sure that they're not like gonna like some of them are good some of them are bad uh, yeah it's a one for one swap they are just a like Maybe a hair, like micron, <laughs> bigger than a regular LM8UU. So they're still tight. They don't wobble like I had with the IGUS bearings. And um, they they don't bind as much. Like they still bind if you mess up, but it wasn't easy to, it wasn't that hard to align them. I just wiggled them a little bit and basically unloosened the screws and moved the bed back and forth and then tighten the screws back down. And they were, you know, they were they were good. So yeah, I got three three of these CFP ETG rolls from Atomic. Uh, two are already going. I'll have to order more. That won't last long because I went through. I don't have my stack here. I had a stack. There's four spools I went through. Um, yeah, Chris, the, the combos um, suck. Uh, they should work on J rods. They will not work on U rods. Um, so if you have Masumi U rods, they will not fit. I tested them; they are, they are like the exact same size. So they they bind in any which way. Um, I have J rods on this printer, and I'll make sure to confirm that. Uh, rails rails are always going to be better than linear linear bearings. One, they're going to be quieter. Two, rails are just sexy, man. Like they're just oh yeah. I have a new shirt. Have you checked your live Z guys? <laughs> yeah, that Mark III uh, mod looks awesome. Like, I, I don't know who's doing it. I forget the name, but I keep seeing it. And um, I I want in on ordering that uh, whenever that's whenever I have a chance. Um, what else did I get in? Oh. I got this fancy MKS Gen L 1.0 board from the Amazon for like $22. Cause you know, um, <laughs> I 
<laughs> you got to have a really good board when you're uh, making a. Um, uh, ooh, I'm going to make another moderator. Olaf, you're moderator now. Yay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when you're making a custom printer right there, that custom printer is running on MKS Gen L right now. I might go Maestro. Who knows? Um, it's it's on the list. Um, but mostly was getting it tuned. Ooh, the one by Sandoz, crazy. Hey, Brad. Hey, Thomas. Oh, someone said, by the way. Yeah, it's like 22 without drivers or something for the just the board. It's a really basic board. I like the white ones better than the pink. The pink ones were just the right size. And I feel that if you were to tighten them too much, they would bind. I went with the white ones because you can get a little bit more tightness on them and they don't bind. So, but they're sent. They, I talked to the guy, Juan. He's the name of the guy there. Um, yes, white is normal, pink is PTF, uh, su super lube infused. But, um, talked to Juan there, and he's like, Yeah, we've got a new machining process. So, he sent me a sample of the new pink ones because I mentioned that the pink ones were just like a little tight. <laughs> Aww. Report. Oh, look at that. You're not even showing up anymore, Eric. It's cute. <laughs> it's going to go on for a little bit. You, you can tell, uh, oh, this guy is Eric Kleindins. I don't know if you, he's basically banned from every Facebook group because he's literally one of the dumbest human beings alive. Like he just walks around and hates Prusa and hates everything. And then he makes uh, numerous fake accounts. Uh, he, we had we found like 10 fake accounts on the uh, our Facebook page. He made one of his wife. <laughs> He made a fake account for his wife so he can be on our Facebook page. So, um, yeah, that was the guy that was trolling Prusa most for like six months to a year. So, you know, he, he deflected. He's no longer attacking Prusa. He's after, he's after me because I'm prettier. <laughs> Ooh, Thomas has got the kit. Show. Yeah, you have to send him an email, which is a fabulous slow system. But they sell them individually. I think they're like six bucks a pop or less. So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, have you checked your live Z? Don't ban Thomas as well. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What else to come in today? I got a piece of pizza, I think. I had a knife. Oh, there it is. If you're only printing PLA, cool dude Phil 46, you can just use PLA. You can just use a brass nozzle. Uh, you can even use a clone by brass nozzle. Pizza cutter. What is it? What could it be? All right. Everyone guess. What could this be? Best guess wins a high five. The triangle <laughs> mailbox pizza. The best pizza. Hey, it's Elliot. I'm going to open it on my side. This is difficult to open. Who decided a triangle box was a good idea? A Wexter <laughs> Oh, there's a there's a triangle inside. Ooh, someone's close. It is a machined aluminum fancy square from Kinex. It's an empty box. Yeah, so it's a giant machined square with I love how thick it is. This is like some millimeters thick there. Like that is that is a beefy, 
as a, it's heavy too. Wow, it's, it is a doorstop, but also has a a data card that says it's been it's been verified. So I finally have a really nice square. They're on Amazon for like I think it was like fifteen bucks for this Din eight seven five. Uh, it's a little greasy though. Uh, it still has the machine grease. It is steel. It looked like aluminum online. This is definitely a hefty piece of metal. Still covered in, in grease. We're going to have to clean that off. I don't have any of my spray bottles with me. Um, it's for everything assembly. Everybody needs one of these. But it's the perfect size. Everyone else that I found was like super thin. So that's 90 degrees right there. <laughs> I don't think a ninja star anybody would. That would one would probably hurt my hand. Um, and two, um, yeah, that sounds dangerous. Um, it's, de it's definitely dangerous. Oh, it's so greasy. We'll put that back in the box. Now my hand's all greasy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Kinex. Inspection certificate. Yeah, that's so nice. Inspected on 12 14 2018. Yeah, so that silver is this. So someone's asking about that atomic silver PTG. This is that right here. Look at this crazy thing. It looks like Prusimit. Yeah, it was a six inch version. Six and four, I think, was the size. But yeah, the silver's silver PTG was awesome. So that was the first thing. The pizza box. Well, besides the atomic filament and the, the really crazy board. Oh, look at that. He's making more accounts. It's so awesome. So many accounts. Oh, Olaf, instead of that, you can actually uh, remove him. Yeah, hit remove. And that will remove the person from the thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, he has serious. He's loving this, too. He's like, oh, man, I'm ruining his stream. You're just making it fun. People are laughing over there at you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish it was an IP ban. I'm just reporting them all as like whatever. So, yeah, it's just. Yeah, I mean, he hates Joseph enough to make uh, um, a model of him having sex with me on Thingiverse, which I can't get taken down because Thingiverse is literally a dumpster fire when you email them. They're like. I emailed them to take it down. They're like, we have to report it. I'm like, I did, but you never responded to the reports. And uh, then I'm like, then when I they sent me the email, I said report. I was like, well, I know I need you to take this down. And they never responded. So it's the best. So everyone can go ahead and report it if you want. So anytime you post the link, just go ahead and report them. <laughs> Let's see. MMF. Producer Richard figure out their contest on MMF. I don't remember what MMF is. Yeah, Thingiverse doesn't really care. This is why everyone's going to my uh, my mini factory because one, they care about the makers. Two, they care about the artists. And three, it's just way better. That that was the V2 of the silver. It looks like Prusament. It's like a, just maybe a hint lighter, just a hint lighter silver than the Prusament, but it's Pretty darn pretty. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> when he says MMF means my mini factory, I'm learning acronyms. <laughs> yeah, my mini factory actually loads. <laughs> oh, someone asked about the SL1. Check out what came in the mail today. Oh, I got to move stuff. Hold on. Whew. 
It came in the mail. <laughs> so you might have remembered, I already had one of these. But the best part about beta testing for me is I always find the one hardware issue. <laughs> so I found the one hardware issue and Bruce is like, send us that back. We send you a new one. I think I even said it that way. Some guy in a you know, really nice accent was like, send us back. We send you a new one. So this is the new one. And I sent back the old one today because I found it was the one user in all the, all the beta testers that found the one, one uh, a mechanical issue. And they're like, we need to figure out what that is. And I'm like, I don't know what it is. I was going to take it apart, but then I realized I have no idea how it works. So it'd be really bad for me to take this thing apart. So it came in the mail. So uh, I'll do an unboxing video since I didn't do that uh, last time. Oh, it's Mark. Hey, Mark. Oh. Ah. By the way, that box weighs over 30 pounds. The printer itself weighs over 30 pounds. So it's, uh, it's a very unique product. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you're supposed to take them apart to learn how they work, but unfortunately, when they want to know what's wrong with it, I think it'd end up hurting it more. <laughs> yeah, the SL1 printed great. It just, there was a recurring hardware artifact that I could, I could, uh, I could make happen and nobody else could make it happen. Like everyone would print the same thing and, and no one else could make it happen, but I can ha make it happen on mine. So they were like, send it back so we can reproduce it because we can't make it, you know, happen on anything else. So, um, yeah. And that's the best part about beta testing. <laughs> 30 prawns. Yes, there's 30 shrimp inside of that box. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, was, it, it printed great. I actually made models for my buddy who uh, does toys. And uh, yeah, the smell is fine. The, it... it traps the the smelliness in there grumpy dude you're fine you were the least you were the least offensive sexy man on the planet um you know i don't think it worked perfect for them oh i think i know what the issue is i was using it so i'm just gonna have to go in there and turn it on print so but no they have the all it, it's definitely something that, that we can repeat we've tried everything and it w I can get it to repeat so it's definitely not a mystery like they had like every support person like well I'll try these 93 different things and I can make it happen can the resin yeah the resin can stay in the tank but unfortunately what's going to happen is the resin is going to separate from the color so it's really hard to restir the the resin when it's stored in the tank i usually can store it for about a day and then after a day i'm blurry maybe my internet's going down is the sound great do i still sound beautiful because <laughs> what's funny is i have a preview right next to me which is why i'm always looking to the right um i'm guessing it's a bandwidth thing which i'm running on ethernet like i don't run um, <laughs> not beautiful. <laughs> uh, at least the sound is great. You know, that's the best part. Um, <laughs> I see an issue with the resin pool on the top side of the build plate. Someone said, um, I didn't have any pooling issues. Oh, it's focused on the boot. Maybe if I turn my face this way, is that better, Mr. Camera? Um, <laughs> the blur does help. Oh, look, he's back again. He's so cute. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> the, uh, I didn't notice any, any tank stuff, but yeah, definitely don't leave it in the tank. Um, I don't know if it's bad for the fat film either. So move the mic. Attack. I'm moving the mic. We'll get closer to it like this. We'll be a real crooner. That always makes the voice better. I don't, it's weird. Like when you get really close to the microphone, um, <laughs> Oh, you know, it might've been from when we moved it. So at, 
there was no Murph. Murph, uh, we actually had to store it on top of a refrigerator afterwards. So it never got remixed. So it may have gotten a little weird. Yeah, clear resins are definitely what are better. Like I use a lot of the gray stuff. Um, uh, like a lot of colors will definitely like the, the, the matte colors will separate. I wish I had some models next to me. I set them all over by my, I actually made an area for resin printing. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> then you can talk low whisper. I want to check your live Z. Um, <laughs> that's why I wear the shirt. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just reading all the review, all the all the things. I, the only updates I have, uh, Mark, is we know who the best nozzle is, and we know who the worst nozzle is. Um, so we did send a bunch of nozzles to Mark to um. Uh, to test and that was in Germany. He got them back and the nozzles are coming back. Um, and the dyes design tungsten carbide nozzle basically looks like a cheese grater. Um, unfortunately, the 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle looks like a, uh, it's scary. I showed it to Sanjay. I actually met Sanjay at Murph and I was showing him the two, the worst and the best ones from the, from the test. Um, and uh, it, it was, it's a really, Mark, Mark can probably go in better detail on chat, but um, yeah, we didn't actually send a Ruby. Mark has a Ruby. He can look at it. Um, it was already like $400 in nozzles that I sent. I was like, I don't want to buy a hundred dollar. The best one that was machined was the uh, Midwest tungsten nozzle made here in Illinois, USA. Uh, it was machined really, really, uh, yeah, we hugged. We hugged. Uh, the tungsten carbide one, yeah, it's definitely cast. So tungsten carbide has to be cast first, and then, um, uh, then, then done all the stuff. So, yeah. Basically, uh, in the long run, they're all very similar. Um, all of the nozzles print fine. Um, there are going to be good and bad nozzles on all of the brands. Uh, I bet you there might be better dyes nozzles, but and there might be worse Midwest tungsten nozzles. But there's some cool stuff like Midwest tungsten. They have a EMS electro or an EDS electro discharge EDM. Um, they have an EDM machine, and they were like, "Well, if we want a perfectly round circle with no machining marks, we can just use this electro discharge the thingy, my Bob, and make perfect circles." And I was like, "Hmm." Uh, Yeah, the new design is meant to fit the same size as a um, E3DV6 electro <laughs> dance music. Um, but tungsten is better than steel in conductivity, but not as good as like brass. So it's like the in between. Tungsten carbide is the best. Um, <laughs> show pictures. Let me grab my phone real quick. Actually, don't no, let me show you the the worst and best. I'll, I'll <laughs> you'll have to look at my phone screen. Oh, wait, I guess I can show it on my... Let me go to chat here on my Facebook. And then I'm going to open up See All on Messenger. And then I'm going to go find this guy named Mark, some, some strange gentleman in Germany who has the capability of looking at things in crazy detail. Um, ooh, I can look at things without having to show you what it is. So uh, that's not it. Let me find the worst one. And then we'll start from there. You never want to start with the best. Because <laughs> then your expectations just get, you know, no, uh, is that the worst one? This is a different one. That's the diamond eyes nozzle. That one was also a little off. Yeah, this is def that's definitely the one. Um, all right. So let's go to screen share. Um, where's that button at? Ah, there we go. Uh, screen share and share. So here we are looking at, I believe to be the correct nozzle. Yeah. So you can see that at one, it's 
it's off center. Um, it's it's very off center, um, and the mic the microscope that's used automatically centers things, so it it's a planar view. It's not angled. Uh, it does all the math. So this is not a camera angle trick where you know one side is closer than another. Uh, the camera does the magic to make sure there is absolutely no tilt. Um, it is extremely off. Um, and then if you look on the inside, uh, we can see the Rocky Mountains uh, living inside of the nozzle and just this pretty darn awful quality. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and move the chat window over here. Let's, let's move the chat over. Can I do that? Oh, it won't let me. It doesn't like that. So yeah, this is this is the dyes design tungsten carbide nozzle. So this is this is the quality of the worst nozzle that, as you can see, it's off center. The rest of the machining looks pretty good, but this is I guess it's two piece. This cap is tungsten carbide. This part is actually something else, and then it's coated. So this is this is that angle, and then this is this is the inside view, which is friction city. Um, and then I can, yeah, so you can see this is what the design looks like. It's this weird uh, shape. Um, and this is a better view of that top with a little bit more contrast added so you can see what's going on. Uh, and then we have the Midwest Tungsten Nozzle, which just looks gorgeous. I mean, it's just machined. That's not it. We went too far. It goes this way. It's it's machined really well. Um, so th there's your difference. So you've got this amazingly machined nozzle with, I mean, it looks pretty. Um, it's very centered. I, I, waiting for Mark to do all the fancy tests, but, you know, it definitely wasn't uh, the cave's um so let's uh stop there we go yeah they, they milled that with a a two by four um hey it's rc cnc uh that nozzle is like 70 dollars <laughs> so <laughs> um a very interesting view and Overall, all of the nozzles, we were actually surprised. The nozzles from China, like we, I bought a five pack. Hey, it's Walter. I love Walter. I got to meet Walter and give him a hug. So my, my weekend was amazing. And we got Barry from, uh, yeah. But yeah, the it, it's, it's a $70, $80 nozzle. The, and it looks like poop. Um, but overall, like all the nozzles were very similar. Uh, we've come to a very good conclusion on why things look bad when shot with, with cameras and it is an issue, but it's not a big one. Um, I'll go more in depth on that on a different day. Um, I'll, I'll do something fancy. Uh, but even the cheap, I bought a five pack of nozzles from Amazon for $8 and they were machined really well. Um, Hey Brian from Scotland. Oh, someone has a rail core ZLT, Mr. 600 in the Z. Um, but man, man, um, yeah, it might have a delay now. I think I'm having internet issues. It's 5 p.m. and it hates me. I should have restarted the router. I haven't done that in actually probably like four months. But yeah. So that's enough about nozzles. Let's continue opening packages. Um, Yeah. All the, uh, yeah, basically the E3D nozzles weren't any better machined than Chinese nozzles versus anything else that was brass, which is, it makes sense. Brass is easier to machine um, versus things like tungsten carbide, which apparently you use hammers and chisels to make your things with. Um, <laughs> yeah, you should definitely pick one of those up from printed solid. They make really good... Um, uh, really good fire extinguishers with Marlin stickers on them. More, more on the Murph. Uh, what else did it came in the mail? Um, let's open up my profi box. Filament subscription, $45 from uh, Filament One. 
two kilograms of filament and surprises inside. Let's see what I got. Again, I got to meet the guy from Filament One. Super good dude. Even told me about some secret colors coming out. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide the wrappers here. Oh my goodness. There's a Stroop waffle. So that's happening. Oh, this printer on my left? Wait, which left? This left, probably. Who's that's my right, but um to the left, yes. Uh that is a new printer made by RCCNC who's in there. Joe Mike. So it looks like uh there is an official E3D 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So that is kind of amazing. Um, so I got a nozzle. And I got the Stroop Waffle and a roll of Pro Select White Aluminum. So this is a kind of a Prusa, old Prusa Silver, which is awesome. And what's buried in here? Oh, one of my other favorite colors. This is this sparkle blue. Tough to see the sparkle in there. Hey, stop focusing on my face camera. I know you got the face focus. Yeah, super awesome sparkle blue. So I'm happy. Last month I got glint, glint gray, which is my all time favorite color. Nothing else in there. Yeah, glint gray is my all time favorite color. Um, and uh, the glint blue is definitely one of my other favorite ones. And this silver is going to be awesome because these are the best. If you ever have uneven extrusion and you want to see it, I don't know what it is about silver filament, but it's just the plain, not with sparkles, just plain silver filament is the greatest filament for finding your issues. Um, so that was the filament one profile box, which, yeah, I mean, it's a free nozzle. I'm going to use it. So, um, yeah, Dennis got glint gray, so you know, you saw it. That glint gray is sexy. It's that, like, dark, dark, sexy gray. Uh, uh, and then, of course, a Stroop waffle, which we're just going to go ahead and open that. Eat the waffle so I can go to sleep. I'm going to take it for you, for you, Wexter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Got cinnamon, got caramel, got waffle. Well, dang it. Stroop waffle. Stroop waffle. Stroop waffle. I will do my best to be more Dutch. <laughs> I'm eating through two at once. No, there's one in the package, I think. I'll finish that later. I don't want to sound like. Uh, Ooh, Stroop waffle. Yeah, see, us Americans have a weird way of saying things. I wish you had this discussion in the Prusa chat. We're just like, you know, we say weird things like yeet and bay and pronounce everything incorrectly. Heck, we say tomb, T-O-M-B, and also comb, C-O-M-B. Shouldn't it be coom or tomb? No. Because tome is T-O-M-E, not T-O-M-B. I don't know. <laughs> Road. Um, Struppenwoofer. All I know is Walter is the sexiest man alive. Um, <laughs> um, I think that was like the highlight of, of the weekend was seeing Walter and bugging him and hugging him. So. If you ever see Walter, he's a very huggable gentleman. So, <laughs> aluminium. Okay, what else did I get? Makerbox. Yes, I resubscribed to Makerbox. 
Why? Because I really like filament. And I finally have something to test. So, um, oh, there's some ABS prints in there that I printed. I was testing. Oh, stop focusing on the box. Focus on me, camera. I am the star. Get your fill on, bro. Um, <laughs> what am I looking for? Let's see what came in this, this generally amazing box. Now, I do love 3D Fuel, and they have their glass-filled PLA. Uh, so uh, I have their HT PLA, and it prints really good. Uh, wow, speeds up to 100 millimeters per second. And the print temp's only two, 210 max. It's kind of crispy and matte looking. Seems dangerous. And then we have something else that I really wanted to try. I've actually always wanted to try this. The Polymax PETG. One of my... Um, I have a poly maker and a, the, the poly shirt, and I love the poly... Whatever. The one that you can polish with, S, uh, with uh, isopropyl alcohol. So excited about that. This is another one I'm excited about. The uh, Poly Alchemy's... Uh, their new textures line. Is that what they call them? Oh, FX line. So this is their sandstone PLA. I do not oil my HT PLA, but I cheat and use a good fan. Yeah, I've seen the Kodak filament. That stuff looks awesome. Joe, Mike, you just don't like the, you just don't like that it stole the FX name from the FX TV channel. Um, but I do like that it's not um, abrasive. So this makes me happy that um, I'm definitely going to print a mini me in sandstone. Then, of course, they came with a coupon for 3D Geeks, which I have no idea what 3D Geeks is. I'll, I will learn. Um, and some stickers. But we also got this Phoenix Nylon Blue. So uh, I'm not a huge nylon printer, but that doesn't mean I can't start. And FX got the movies. They do have the movies. There's also, don't mind this ABS print in here. Um, there's a button, which I will add to my bag. So um, I already have the Alien, uh, Alien 3D box. Let me, let me stop that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, you can dye nylon and polycarbonate, but it's not easy. Olaf, get him, bro. I'm going to add Joe Mike as, an, as a moderator, too. We're just going to add a whole bunch of moderators. It's going to be a fun day. Um, <laughs> um, Irizar, I actually have that combo. So this Prusa is running a regular... Um, thing but with the bear x and bear extruder um and we'll get walter on there we're gonna get everybody on there <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be bad news for anyone that wants to troll it's gonna be like um <laughs> super fun happy time um but yeah uh back to the nylon thing but yeah that that prusa has the uh the bear x and bear extruder and it works as a great combo i actually love that printer it prints fantastic with just that um that will ban me. See, if you ban me, then that wouldn't happen. Uh, <laughs> but I uh, definitely want to use more nylon. I used a lot of 3DX tech nylon, the CF stuff, and I loved it. Uh, I just didn't get used to the, the shrinkage. There's a, like a slight shrink that I'm one of those people that I make a profile and I don't think of shrink. I don't think of so it, it wasn't it's not my daily printing routine to make uh, make educated decisions based on filament shrink. So, yeah, I was in the pool. Uh, but yeah, that was the that was the maker box. It's actually a really good one. I used to have this a year ago. Uh, my goal right now, um, my goal right now is to. I think Thingiverse actually has some spools I can print for these refills. So. Um, because that's the one thing I'm missing is a way to use this. So that would be my goal. The low gloss is awesome. The only downfall is, um, 
is uh, you need to uh, print at really high temps, and sometimes it gets angry at you, and it, it gets fragile. But I like it. It's such a cool filament. It's so unique. Um, I heard he's working a new form formulation, so um, the printer's not much different than a Prusa size. It looks like the print's done. Let's go ahead and pop a print off. Yes, Elliot. Um, Scalda, he's normally on here. He's working on like an alien box hybrid. Um, so check that out. Follow him on the Twitter. He's always posting about it. So Scalda something. So looks like Shea Street um, also mentioned the Scalda. So someone who can post his Twitter name um, would be awesome. All right, Brian, have a good one, man. We'll chat later for sure. All right. Let's go grab the prints off that. I'm surrounded by stuff. He is a really good dude. Um, so people have noticed that I've said I don't like the, the king sheet. I found one that works. <laughs> I have six of these and I've always had issues with things sticking. Uh, the only thing I guarantee will work perfect. All of my CF PTG prints stick perfect. They stick so well on these the king sheets, which I think Matter Hackers is has rebadged. So um, I did looks like I did have a little bit of warp on one print, which is just just what I always seem to happen when I use this sheet. But um, it is it is grip good. This, this is cold right now. Come on. OK, I'll do it manually. Don't want to get too much finger grease on there. Just clean it off. But here's that same silver. Come on, focus not on my face. There we go. That same silver from Atomic, which again, it looks more like Prusa Mint. And these are just more bare parts because, you know. Walter, why are you sad? Man, I will. If I ever print on glass, I will buy Magigoo again. I will never buy Magigoo ever again. Um, it worked great on glass. I've put it on everything and, uh, yeah, Chris, they actually, it's, it's Amazon. Um, so I talked to Joseph about it and someone else met, uh, mentioned it. Um, all right, country, you go live. I'm going live again at six 30. So maybe I'll stop by yours for a second. But, um, uh, he mentioned that when they launched the, Prusament, not only did they take way too many pre-orders, um, so whenever Prusa would send them more, they would immediately be sent to pre-ordered people. They continue to take more pre-orders, and eventually it took so many pre-orders they had to cancel orders. So someone needs to yell at the Amazon because that's no fun. These prints turned out pretty. I should send more to that printer. I don't know why I'm printing. Actually, I want to redo something on it. So, um, actually, Prusa has finally caught up. Super happy, George. Uh, they finally shipped their last ones to customers, and they should be going on sale in the next couple weeks. So, um, yeah, you will be seeing. You didn't hear it from me, but you'll be seeing Prusa textured sheets for sale. Uh, but the other, the, the big reason that the king can make them is the king isn't selling 10,000 of them. Prusa had to make 10,000 of them. The king makes 1,000 of them, you know, maybe 2,000 of them. Um, and they are of, um, like, I have one that's missing a big chunk out of it. So, um, mine have been lackluster. But Mike Joe, Joe Mike, I keep calling him Mike Joe. But Joe Mike recommended that I take some isopropyl alcohol and a green scrubby pad and scratch them up a little bit. And they're better that way. So I'm going to try that on my ones that I have issues with. So I will. 
I will report back if that is the magic fix that makes these work. Because if that makes them work, then I'm going to be like, you got to get it. Because these textured sheets, when they work, are freaking awesome. Uh, new Delta PSUs have already shipped with new printers, and I think they're only going to be with new printers and replacements. So if people have bad Mark III uh, PSUs, they'll be replacing them uh, first with overstock of old PSUs and then new stock of Delta PSUs. So, yeah, there'll be more new announcements. They've got stuff. I can't say anything because, you know, uh, if, even without an NDA, I'm not going to say it. But, they, yeah, they've got they're always working on things and they have lots of cool things. So most likely one of them is the fact there'll be there'll be textured sheets coming. Um, I don't if they haven't already announced it. Um, yeah, the zesty nimble. Randy, uh, we won't tell anyone. You guys are the best. <laughs> uh, Randy, uh, Zesty Nimble looks awesome. I think uh, Joel did a fantastic little video thing with uh, the guy from Zesty yesterday in Seattle. Uh, I tested the Flex 3 drive to um, all to, to, yeah, it kind of didn't work, but. Um, that we can, yeah, we're just not gonna, not gonna, yeah. Um, uh, change 18 days left. What, <laughs> what do we have 18 days left? Um, Joe Mike, there was a guy at Murph that showed me his PSU that he took apart and painted black. So, if you know one that can powder coat, I would powder coat that PSU case that you already have. Um, uh, oh, yeah, end game. Uh, I don't watch superhero movies anymore. I'm going to wait for them to all get done and people get bored of them. And then I'll watch them on Netflix because I'm, I'm superheroed out, man. After watching two different variants of, of stuff. Um, dude, Walter, you do that, man. There needs to be more zesty. Um, I wish they would do like a 20 to one. I think 30 to one is awesome, but that just, you know, uh, Ooh, cycle shops do that? I didn't see Philodry. Oh, I know I did. I did see it. Man, when we get to the Murph one in an hour and a half, I have so much to talk about. So, um, oh, more stuff came in the mail. Dun, da, da, dun. Not, not something that, not as cool as you might think. It's just the uh, effector, the duet effector, which is going to go on my. Um, custom built, um, custom built Delta. So sitting in a box right there on the ground, it's waiting for new, uh, we're gonna go up to 700 millimeters on that, uh, any cubic castle. Um, <laughs> so I decided to order the effector since I have the duet board. So well, we won't go too much into that because that's a long discussion, but I might have to order a maestro before the day's over. Ooh, Game of Th Man, you're talking about all things I'm not watching right now. Yeah, it is the smart effector. So uh, super excited. There. There'll be more duet stuff coming because I think this next thing I'll show you is going to get a duet maestro board in it. Don't ask me why it's going to get a duet maestro board in it. It's just going to get a duet maestro board. Uh, that's one. The original board is pretty poopy. Well, it's not. Po it, it works. We won't say it's spoopy. It just it works. It doesn't. Yeah. All things serve a purpose. We just might not know what that purpose is. Let me move this giganto box because I put it on top of that box, and that's probably not the best thing in the world to do. <laughs> hey, stop guessing the cool things I got. I think this box is also 30 pounds. Does it say the weight on here? It's probably in kilograms. But yeah, it is an Ender 5. So there'll be an unboxing and build of the Ender 5. Um, 
Don't ask me why, but it's going to get a maestro board. <laughs> it, Fotis, it was on sale for like 300 and something dollars uh, the other day. So I was like, I need another printer. Um, so, and these are all small projects that I've been working on. So I'm just adding the pieces together, but yeah, this will get built. It's going to stay stock for like a hot minute. So under five. Ugh. Oh, I keep hearing that it's really nice. <laughs> you and yeah, no joke. Uh, a chorus wine needs a ton of belt. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, the price was right. Uh, the under five is a Bowden, but that's not a problem because it's running nearly the same plate as everything else. So if I want to make it a direct drive, it won't be that hard. Um, Step one is to replace the board with a maestro. I think I made my decision. I'm just gonna just gonna do the, the the maestro board because it's got BL touch slot port already there. So, um, well, the decision was because I'm starting to sell parts. So my Prusas are gonna get eaten up selling parts, uh, making parts. So that way I can feed the addiction. So that way it's not coming out of my pocket. Uh, well, it's coming out of my pocket one way or the other but it's not coming directly. Um, yeah, but I'm definitely going to, yeah, cleaning up the wiring, add the Maestro board, um, get it running with a BL Touch, an official BL Touch, not one of those cloney ones. Uh, and then uh, maybe add a second Z-axis. I heard that it might need that. So it is rollers on extrusion, but I'm okay with that because this printer's rollers on extrusion and it prints sexily. Um, it's just a lot more solid. So it's basically take the Ender 3 and put a solid frame on it. What I mean, it's not the Ender 3 is not that not solid. It's just more solid. Um, when am I building a rail core? Dude, as soon as possible, probably this summer. Um, it's one of those purchases that. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's, you know, dropping like 300 here, 400 there. Um, the is easier, but dropping $2,500 at one time is like, uh, um, yeah, the Creality Bear. That's basically what this is. It's basically, it's all extrusion. There's 20, there's 80, 20 extrusion on here. 20, 40, 80, 20. So it's uh, it's a pretty beefy. Uh, but yeah, um, it can go taller. There's already taller motors and a taller rails ready to go. So, uh, and then, oh yeah, stuff. Jesse PLA. So this is our IC 3D moment. So printed solid, got rid of their daily PLA. And they added a new PLA made by IC3D. This one's open. It's printing on that printer back over there. But we can open up another one. Let's find a cool color. Ah, look at the puppy on there. I forget who designed it, but they made a model and everything, which is printing right here. So the Jesse puppy is printing. Uh, IC3D, met Sean at Murph, super cool dude. Uh, they make great filament. I bought, they make the, the green. Of course, I don't have, I have a print from Chris Freeze over there that's green, but I can't reach it because it's over there. Um, Bruce will steal that idea too. <laughs> um, but this is mystery orange, which I don't know if that means it's mystery machine orange, but it is, it is a very bright orange. So just, just like your daily ride PLA. Um, and the colors are really vibrant. IC3D makes really good filament. Um, I need, 
I, it could be any, it could be a male or female or a puppy dog. I would, an assistant would be fab. They hand me cool stuff. Like, yeah, here's this thing. Cause I always forget stuff too. Um, but it's just a really good clean filament from a really good company made in the USA. Um, you know, build, ser uh, yeah, build, build series killer. <laughs> right. Right. Joe, Mike. Yeah. And then I think this is the last of it. I got a whole bunch of PTFE tube from floral store and they just make really, really good uh, PTFE tube to some very good specs. It's not the same quality as Capricorn, but it's um, pretty awesome. I am a big fan of it. Uh, it's a it's a solid product. They're cheap enough. I can buy it in fifty foot spools, so I can do stuff because I'm going to replace all these racks back here. Um, a lot of cool racks are going to go back there. So, um, other than that, I didn't nothing else. I think that's it. I got some one point eight zero millimeter, so four on the outs. No, no, this is the three mil. Yeah, this is four on the outside, three on the inside for my testing rig. So that's something else. We won't, we won't go too far in that. Um, <laughs> uh, other than that, that's it. That's everything. That's all the cool stuff that has kind of entered in here recently. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to look at chat real quick. Um, Dennis, I think it was it was decently wheelchair accessible. Um, the center where everybody had their custom stuff was a little bit more difficult to move. I don't think that would have been OSHA approved. Uh, but the general outside was actually pretty well. I will stream the SL1 unboxing. Um, the Alien 3D box hasn't come in. So when that comes in, I'll do an unboxing on that. I usually like to wait a day so people, because that's like a surprise. Um, you know, people kind of get them. I don't like to burst the bubble. The Maker box came in like a week ago so like the first day like it came april 1st basically so it's had it's had its run of social media presence and all that fun stuff um yes i'll be back at 6 30 to do more fun stuff and talk about all the amazingness that happened at murph uh maybe add some people maybe joe mike will be bored um yeah i heard they're in the mail too so that was definitely posted on the twitter the other day that the mail has the the package has gone into the mail service so yeah there was a couple people with motorized shirts but i don't think it would have worked on saturday it was so crowded um yeah, everyone should go to bed i should be in bed it's five o'clock in the evening time no i shouldn't be in bed i should be printing something yes i accomplished that um yeah so this this short stream this is gonna be a short stream i'm not I have nothing else to mention. Um, uh, 450. Uh, I think I'm using that on this one. There's a tiny version and then there's a big version. I prefer the big version because the fan is quieter and it turns on less often. The, uh, the smaller one turns on often and is very loud. So, yeah. Don't go open more boxes. I have no more packages to open and I have a Stroop waffle to eat. Well, actually, I'll open up more packages during the Murph one because I have all the stuff that I got from Murph. So we'll, we'll, I didn't buy much at Murph. I think I bought like a couple things at Murph. Like I didn't spend even $100 at Murph. Um, my hotel actually cost more than my actual thing. Uh, yeah, and I'll jump on to country too. I want to see what he's doing. So I'm going to take a quick break and uh, clean up a little bit down here to make more room for all the craziness that's going to happen. So thank you everyone who showed up today for the like mailbox and to catch up on things. Um, I got some rep cord filament too. Shh. Uh, we'll talk about that on the stream, but uh, uh, yeah, till, till an hour and 20 minutes from now, we'll talk again soon and I'll, I'll, I'll spend more time on the chat. So 
I just wanted to kind of give everyone a, a heads up on what's going on. So see you in a little bit, everyone, and enjoy that hour and a half of craziness. So, uh, yeah, have have a great evening until later. And if I don't see you later, have a good night sleeping and or doing whatever you're doing. So adios, amigos. Stroop waffle. <laughs>